referee tonight is Bruce Pledge. And the other linesman is Ron Finn. Here he comes. There he is right there. And the Rangers are starting off with Pavlich, Duguay, and McClanahan. Trottier wins the draw for the Islanders, and this game is underway. The Islanders leading in the series two games to one. After this, the series goes back to the island on Wednesday. Trottier in center zone. Pavlich hits him with a little bit along the sideboard. Botvin across. Up for grabs in center zone. Bossy 22 sends it in. Rutzelainen in the corner. Has trouble with it. McClanahan back. That's Bossy on McClanahan. He gets it to Trottier. Shot save. First one of the game. Back to center zone. You can expect the Islanders to try to test Davidson very quickly and very hard. Potson is back. Rangers on a change. Here comes Potson with a rush. He might very well shoot along. With nope, he's going to have to duck it into the corner and go for the bench. Dave Maloney is back. Here comes Badney. He's got a wing. Shot John Stone. Close. Close to the base of the net. Out in front. Shot by Badney. Knocked away and back to center. Rangers with good opportunity. Dave Maloney had left the fence over to the right side for Badney. And the crowd is hot. Badney, good feed. Matorek can't quite hang on to it. Kept in play. Johnstone. Badney. Brent Sutter lost it, but it's picked up by the Islanders defense, and they come out. McEwen. No penalty. Here comes Petoric. Petoric's got Johnstone in front. Pass across, goes wide. Islanders have the puck. And will come out. McEwen with the rush. And sends it in. Islanders on a chain, so are the Rangers. Leonard into center zone. Nice from coming in. Shot just wide of J.D. At the point for the Islanders. Rangers have it and come out. Rangers have opened up skating very well. Dory, and he can't quite get in. Dory kept it in play at the blue line. Dory follows in. Bumps Morrow. Burns on the sideboards. Can't contain it back to center zone. Lennon in with the puck. Nice from Zafferin. Nice move. Johnson's got him in the corner. Behind, behind. Here comes Goring. Mike Allison will get to it. Nope, oh, beaten to it in the corner. Nystrom. Burns spins him around. And the Islanders start out. Long shot. Save, J.D. Return in front. Laidlaw's got the puck. No score. Opening minutes of the game. Hasn't been a stop yet. Tonelli is deep. Takes Dory out. Lennon has got the puck. Haven't had a stop since the opening drop. 17 minutes to go as uh, he comes in. Quick shot. Save by Billy Smith. Islanders have it in their own end. We haven't had a whistle since the game began. Beck breaks it up at the sideboards. Up for grabs and center zone. Trotje comes up with the puck. Trotje around Duguay. Drop pass. Trotje! Save! <laughs> McClanahan lost the puck. Gets it back. Two on two with Duguay. Duguay behind him. Bossy comes back. Incredible beginning for this hockey game. 16 and a half minutes to go. No stop in the play yet. Potvin across. Lane. Lane plays the corner. Davidson leaves it off. Has Bourne back there. And we might get our first whistle since the game began. 16 minutes and 12 seconds to go. First period, no score. And this is New York Ranger Hockey. An incredible beginning for this playoff game and a save up by JD on Trottier here yet. Watch this. McClanahan let Trottier go and Trottier moves in and Johnny Davidson makes a good stop right there. His first real tester. In the Rangers end and the face off is picked up by Andre Dore. Pinned against the backboard. Puck is loose at the goal line. Rangers get to it on the sideboards. Up the head and clear. Drop pass for Allison. That was Connor laying it back. Allison goes in. Followed by Connor. It's behind Connor. Two on two of the Islanders coming out. Nystrom's going to make it a three on two on right wing. Nystrom looking at the pass. There's Nystrom. Save! Cleared into the corner on the rebound. Very short. 15.47 to go. 
Here comes Laidlaw. Gorey. Gorey will shoot. Blocked before it gets there by Poppin. Gorey goes deep with the teal behind the net. Puck behind the net. Rangers have possession here in the corner. But Teal's in front. Lane at the teal going at it in front. But nystrom has got the puck. And will come out. What a start to this hockey game. Nystrom with the cheek of the line. Put himself offside. Okay, John there's Bobby Nystrom, but John Davidson, let's talk about his lifetime against the Rodenders in the regular season. He's 10, 10, and 0. There's another town score. Quebec leads Boston in the first period. 1-0. Boston leads that series 2-1. Marion Stasny has scored for Quebec. Watch Nicky Patillo in front of that with Gordy Lane. Lane grab him, got a hold of his stick. Look right underneath. Underneath and by his arm there. And Billy Smith, surprisingly, did not jab at him. McEwen is back behind the goal line. The Islanders coming out. This is one of the few calm moments we've had. McEwen to the red line. Long shot. Rangers have it the line. Don Maloney. He's got the Torek on the right. There's the Torek. Not quite in time. John Stone. Gillies runs John Stone. Gillies gets loose. Sedg went across. Sutter in front. He's got his rebound wide. Brent Sutter here. Badney takes him down. And the Rangers have the torque. Will come out. He's got help on left wing. Don Maloney. Don tips it into the corner and follows. Smith out of his net to stop the puck. Up to Gilly's side. And back across center zone. Dave Maloney covering for Badney, who is in the Islanders' end. Don Maloney. Islanders on a chain. Have completed it. Don lost the puck. Goring. Torek. Nice little stick check. Islanders throw it in. There's Goring in deep. Spun around by Dave Maloney. Nystrom's working to the corner. Now we're going to frozen puck. 14-14 to go. First period, no score. This is New York Rangers hockey. Fourteen, fourteen to go. Program is authorized by Madison Square Garden Production Incorporated, solely for the entertainment of our audience. Any publication rebroadcast of the use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this event. Without the imposition of a chart for you in the program, about the express consent of Madison Square Garden prohibited. Here comes Dugan. He lost the puck. Back across center zone. Here comes Goring in a hurry. Dory knocks it away. McClanahan. Maestro. Goring is deep. There he is. Pavlich on the back of the net. Pavlich gets it free. Finds Dugay. Soft pass. McClanahan's got it. With Pavlich. Two on two. McClanahan left it at the blue line. Here comes Nystrom. Dugay knocks it away. McClanahan taken down. This is Tonelli. Drop shade behind Dory. Centers one. What? Just wide of Davidson. Nystrom is taken hard on the board by McClanahan. And the glass has come out in the corner. Boy, Robbie McClanahan really nailed Bobby Nystrom. So with 13-27 left in the first period, there's no score. This is New York Ranger hockey. Here's a look at the man that scored the overtime goal last night here, Brian Trotche. Checking on the window work. Watch is checked by McClanahan. More of a push. Watch him push him. He was off balance, and boy, McClanahan right. put him in. There goes the glass. Look at the glass. And look at the look Nystrom gives McClanahan. He got the number. You can see, you can bet that Nystrom will get back sooner or later. 13-27 to go first period. It has been a fine first period. Much action. No score. Free puck. Poked in the center zone. Mike Allison. Morrow. Rutzelainen. Beck. Back ahead, he'll be on goal. Smith makes the stop. Morrow at the goal line. Taken away by the Rangers. Lennon and centers it. Wide of the net. Morrow jumps Allison. You can hear the crowd boo. There's been no call. Mike in the corner. Bonson and Lennon and go after the puck. Players are finding out they can get away with a lot. There's a shot with line in. Stopped in front. Comes back in the center zone. Beck will chase it. Davidson will have to help his own cause here, maybe. Yes. Trotty was coming in too fast. Rich line and golf at it. Lost it. Rangers three on two. Allison is the trailer. Off balance pass. In front shot. Wow. Beautiful give and go with Mike Rogers, but Lennon could not find the hole. That was 
a beautiful play right there by Mike Rogers and Lennon. And it's good to see Rogers. Watch him. Here's Lennon passing to Mike. Mike goes around the corner and he passes it back to Lennon. And, and Lennon shoots the puck and it deflects off of Kenny Morrow's stick and goes up over the crowd. There's a higher view of it. There's Rogers. Drops to Lennon. Lennon fakes a shot. Back to Rogers. Back to Lennon. And he shoots it. And that puck deflected into the crowd. The Rangers looking far, far better here in this first period than they have looked in first periods in the playoffs. They have come out. They have taken command so far. No score yet. But they have certainly been playing a solid hockey game. The Doric on the right of Smith. Maloney's in motion on the right. Well, that's okay because now on these face-offs, the Rangers have been losing countless face-offs. And they've got to jump in there a little bit first. Look at this, Quebec, 2-0 in the first. Paymont, the man who scored the overtime goal. The Doric on the draw this time. The Rangers wins the draw. Screen shot by Dave. No, he turns the corner instead. Don Maloney goes in front. Don Maloney off the side of the net by Smith. Maloney's got John Stone in front. John Stone dumps. Referee's in the corner. He's got his hand up. It's going to be a penalty. Interference. And so with 12-11 to go in the first period. And no score. This is New York Rangers hockey. Brian Trotche gets two minutes for interference at 7.49. The Rangers' power play is one for 13 against the Islanders. Not good. Here's, here's the penalty right here. Now watch to the right of your screen. See Trotche come in, and he kicks Eddie Johnstone's feet from out from under him and gets interference. First power play of the game. There is no score. The Islanders will clear. Trotche coming back. The Rangers beat Philadelphia with their power play. They're 8 for 21 against them, but they're only 1 for 13 against the Islanders. They've got to get it going. Duguay looking to break at mid-ice. Here he comes across and has the pass. Onside in front. It's in the crease. It's under Smith. I'm not sure he knows he has it. Well, a good little pass right there again by Lennon. And Duguay shoots it in front. It hits Dennis Potvin's stick or skate. Watch this. Watch Dennis Potvin hit his skate, and he kicks it right here. And Billy Smith just dove. Potvin didn't see it. Smith just dove. And if he doesn't dive like that, that might have had enough momentum to carry into the net. Power play stats on your screen. That power play of 26%, it's mostly with the Philadelphia Flyers. 11.52 to go in the first period. There is no score. Ranger power play has one minute and 41 seconds to go. Rogers on the draw with the Rangers. Long time of the drop. There it is. Potvin along the sideboards. And goes into the Islander bench. I guess I lost sight of it on the far side. Yeah. I'll say that's off deck. They want it back in center zone. But it wasn't. I don't believe it. I believe it already went in. Potvin is questioning Randy Mitten. There's Coach Al Arbor of the New York Islanders. And there's his counterpart, Herb Brooks. 11 minutes and 48 seconds here of the uh, first period. The power play has 1.37 to go. Potvin around the turn. Rangers might keep this one in. Ritzelainen does with a backhand pass, but Duguay behind the net. Nobody's in a slot. Duguay's got it. Nobody. Here comes Beck. Rogers trying to find Beck. Ritzelainen. Beck. Beck is back again. Duguay's in front. Rogers in a deep slot. Rogers goes to left wing. Beck will shoot. Outside the net. Rebound. Smith holds the puck. Whistle, maybe. Watch Doogie in front of that. Now Beck takes a shot. It's on the outside of the net. And the puck bounces out as Rogers comes in. Bounces up. And Doogie's standing there. And I. Okay, let's take another look. Now watch the puck hit the net. Now watch Roger or uh, uh, Lennon and get it. I'll get it right yet. I don't know what it is. Back to live play. Shot. Save. Oh, what a drive that was, and Smith had the angle. I believe right now that it's the, the team that scores the first goal in this game has the best, uh, has the best opportunity I, to win. I'm not going to say it's going to win. Don't commit yourself. I can't commit myself. Not point. in these games. Face off, left side of Smith. Rangers looking solid here, have the power play. 
And it will be cleared by the Islanders. Into the Rangers' end. If you have just joined us, there's John Davidson in the net. Wearing the 1979 mask. His mask. Rogers. That's a line in. He's got an alley. He's in. Billy Smith and Russell Lennon. Billy Smith committed himself. Now I want you to watch Russell Lennon. He goes right between Hot Bat and Morrow here. Now watch Billy Smith. If you can see him on the left of your screen, he's diving already. And if he goes to his right, he has it wide open. And he had room to his right. But a good play, nevertheless, for Russell Lennon. And an equally super play by Bill Smith. He gave a beautiful little deke there to freeze those two defensemen, and he got in between them just because of that little hesitation move he gave them. He's so quick. As you look at Ken Morrow, to me, one of the steadiest, best defensemen in hockey. And Robbie Batorek has been a gem for the Rangers. Cleared by the Islanders. Dave Maloney has to hustle. Goring's coming back. Beck slowing him up a little bit. Here's Beck. Leaves it for Dave. Plenty of time in the power play. 37 seconds. Beck. Onside, Petoric. Knocked away by Morrow. Here's Beck. He's got Don in front. Beck trying to find Petoric and Don Maloney. Here's Dave going in deep and has the puck. Beck tripped in the slot. He's on his feet again. Don Maloney and Beck and Goring. Beck keeps it in play for Don. Dave's in a deep slot. Beck trying to go in front. Back to the point. On the backhand. Missed on the forehand. Petoric gets the puck on the left side. Hits the puck and through. Goring with the puck. Power play's got three seconds. And Goring's got room to clear. Excellent chances for the Rangers. They're five on five. Johnstone. Petoric. Just beyond Johnstone's reach. That's McEwen across. Dave Lodgman from the red line. Laid long. Gilly's working the corner. Shot on the side of the net. In front. Mike Bossy, just like last night, scores the first goal. Davidson made the save. Nobody's there to clear the rebound. And they put it by him. Watch this. Look at it. All by himself. Gilly shoots. A great save by Davidson. And as Nobody there with Mike Bossy and the Rangers. Allow Bossy un untouched. Here's another look at it. Gillies walks in all by himself. He shoots. Davidson makes a fantastic save. Petoric is standing there. Laidlaw is standing there. And they don't check Bossy. One is, nothing Islanders. One nothing Islanders. Here's a shot toward the goal. Gillies shot toward the net. Davidson takes a slash at front. Tablet's coming out. Nugay missed the pass of the red line. Coming in with Lajevic. Icing is called. 9 12 to go, first period. 1 0 Islanders. This is New York Ranger hockey. First, tomorrow night at the Meadowlands Arena as the New Jersey Nets take on the Washington Bullets. Buy your tickets at the Arena box office for the 7 35 start. Be there. Be the home court advantage. That goal, Bossy from Gillies and Trotsche at 10 21. Face off. Rangers and to the point. Screenshot. Save. Rebound wide. Nystrom was taken off the puck by Dory. To center zone. Merrick sends one across. Lodgman. Davidson. Late long. Benelli takes late long hard. And he goes down. Benelli does. Dory. Andre sends one in. Mateo, angle shot. He doesn't take it. In front. Good setup by Nick. 8.36 to go and back to the Rangers' end. Merrick rubs Laidlaw to the board. Rangers trying to break in here. Laidlaw, soft pass, looking for Burns. And Burns coming in with McEwen. Takes McEwen out. Mateo's got the puck on the side. Dickey trying to get his way off the boards. Playing hard. Oh, that's rough there. Frozen puck. No, we forgot to say, if you look at Burns, Gary Burns. Massive. 
Massachusetts boy. But we, Dave Silk is not in the lineup tonight. He was scratched. Posse now has a goal in each of the first four games so far in this series. And the one reason, another reason we won in 79, and I say we because I was part of that, was that we shut Bossy right down. He never got a, Steve Vickers did a heck of a job on him. Eight minutes and 12 seconds to go, period number one. Allison's got uh, Leonard in and Maloney behind him to his left. Trying to draw it back, they'll face again. John Davidson so far has done just what expected of him. The goal was on a rebound with nobody clearing the crease out in front of him. Intercepts the Gillies pass out. Johnson being chased by Lennon. Islanders have the puck. Brett Sutter. Sent in on the right. Here comes Gillies on left wing. Fighting his way in. Good stop by Jeff Davidson. Rangers had the puck. Two hours of trap deep. Rangers trying to get a break here. Badney coming in. Badney onside pass. Drop pass. Badney returns it. In front, Allison. Can't steer it in. Behind the net, Badney still. Only one man back for the Rangers. They're not covering Badney's side. The Rangers still had the puck. Allison goes for it. Badney's in front. Badney causing problems. They're trying to hold him out of there. Puck comes in front. He's got it. What a job by Carol Badney. Well, if there was ever a penalty, I believe that one was a penalty. Watch Badney with Sutter. Brent Sutter. Now, he is grabbing him. He is holding him. And, oh, well, Bad's got a pretty good hold of his stick, too. You noticed that, didn't you? I just noticed it now. From up here, the first time, I didn't notice it. Bad, you fooled me. But he has been some playoff performer for the New York Rangers this year. All those rushes really cost you, though, Bad. It's a long way, Van Dan. Seven and a half minutes to go. Face off, right side of Smith. First period, one of the outers. Now, what's Trotche in the face off in this one? I mean, he goes to his right all the time. Look where he's standing. You know it. And Donnie Maloney almost he anticipated. Had yep. He anticipated. Beck could not quite keep it in. It's back for Ritzelainen. Satoric. Beck. Up ahead, offside. Close call. The two line pass. There's Rayo Rocha Lennon with his the mask that he wore. When did he still wearing it? About a month left? I believe it was, I think about it was the last game of the Philadelphia the regular series, but I'm not sure if it was around that. He had that game winning goal in the first game, which I thought Nicky Patillo had. I thought it hit escape. Islanders lead by one. First period. Back behind Lasman. Victoria coming in. Lasman mishandles the puck. John's going to try to take it away. Johnstone and It's under him. This line, of course, has been outstanding for the Rangers. Eddie Johnstone had his best game last night, taking taking the body, sacrificing his own. They've been, I, I'd say they've been the most consistent line for the Rangers since Patoric has come back from his injury because they worked the hardest. Sometimes it works that way. Right. Seven minutes to go. Off on the left side of Smith. No, well, Davidson had four wins and two losses against the Islanders. If you get a good shot, you folks at home, try to look at Doogie's right side of his face. Got seven stitches just on the right side of his nose and four under the eye. Pavlich is in. Trotche wins the draw, going behind. Puts it in front now, the Islanders do, but they should get out of it safely. Trotche to Bossy, going to the left wing. Bossy turns it in from the off wing. Duguay back checking on Trotz. Good line in Bossy. Bourne takes it away. Trotz in a slot. Bourne throws it back. Hot man shot. Off the glass. Islanders still had the puck in the Rangers' end. Trotz at the point. Bourne goes for the puck. Beck goes for Bourne. Beck forces the puck to the blue line. It is a cross. It goes down to Duguay on the left. Watch this. Beck took out two guys. 
And McClanahan kicks the puck, and Mark Pavley picks it up. Now watch the beautiful little pass he makes right underneath Lane's stick. Between the legs, and bam, Duque puts it home. A great, a great pass. Watch between the legs of Gordy Lane as Lane makes his move on Pavley. Right here. A great pass. But Duque made a great shot because he saw Billy Smith sliding across, and he had to get it high, and this game is all tied up at one. Aren't you glad you joined us tonight? Here comes Morrow. Shot on goal. Save Davidson. Dory back. Andre Dory coming out. Canelli's all around him. All over him. Center's one after taking it away. There won't be many penalties called tonight unless they go wild. Burns. Connor couldn't quite get it across the line. Nice stop by Burns on the ice. Patillo's got the puck. And they play the corner for Cam Connor. Dory. This is Burns. He's in. Patillo's going for the net. Burns to Patillo. Save. Billy Smith got it. Johnson and Patillo in the corner. Burns joins the party. Burns comes out. He's got a man in front of Alice, and it goes through. Ranger to taking the body tonight. Here comes Nystrom. No penalty on the drop. to Allison. Mike's like the Lone Ranger out there. The Ranger on a change. He had to come back to look for a friendly face. 5.04 to go. First period. Good hot. Rogers across. Letting it. Allison can't get a swipe. Islanders are coming out one on three. Long shot turned into the right side by Dwayne Sutter. Here comes Gillies on bad day. Gillies in front. Missed by the Islanders and the Rangers come back. They got a man at the head of the field. Head man five. Here he comes down below. Shot through the crease. Tremendous action. Rangers had the puck at center zone as Badney comes back. Badney's in again. Badney and Langevin. Badney. Langevin takes him down. Four twenty-two to go. First period score tied at one. This is New York Ranger hockey. Forecast is for more snow and hazardous driving. Tremendous action right there. Wow. That was unbelievable action. And watch this save. Donnie Maloney breaking in. Billy Smith has made about four of them the same way. Watch him dive and poke check. And the puck, but watch Badney come around here. And Longevin absolutely just grabs him and throws him down and then lays on top of him. Is in the Islanders' end. The Rangers have come storming out in the first period. A solid first period. The score is tied at one. Center zone. Rangers are breaking up the Islanders' breakup plays for the first time tonight, stopping them short of the red line most of the time. Pass for Pittori. Kept in by Don Maloney. Drop pass back late long. Dory. Gets it back. In front. Off the boards. Into the Islander bench. Rangers are really containing the Islanders, and the breakout play for the Islanders has not been working at all. Well, they're, they're, blo they're blocking it very well. There's St. Louis has won nothing out in front of Chicago in the first period in Chicago, and the Blackhawks lead that series 2 to 1. But, Jimmy, what they're doing is they're, the Rangers' are, defense are not backing out fast, and the reason they're not backing out quickly is because one forward is making sure he's coming back, and that's what the key is. Face off on the left side of Billy Smith. Now look at the way Trotche is standing on that side. You know he's going on his back end. Duguay's got Pavlich in a slot well covered. Dory's to his right. He'll face again. He was looking for Pav in the move. And that would have been a perfect pass. Wow. They were trying to play there. Where the eye. Face. And Trotche gets the draw back. Lajvin behind the goal. Duguay stays in. McEwen. Around Duguay. McEwen is in. In front. Rangers take it away. Dory. Boy, I've called Dory a lot tonight. He's been playing good position. Two line pass.
Ah, you're right. Dory has been playing pretty well tonight. And he has had the puck an awful lot. You know, that goal, I don't know whether we gave it to you. I guess we didn't. Ronnie Duguay is fifth from Pavlich and McClanahan at 13-38. And Duguay has scored 17 goals in his last 24 playoff games. That's quite a record, but Ronnie has not been playing up to par, and he's the first one to admit it. Troche on the draw against uh, Rogers, who wins and finds Ripsalainen, who finds Beck. Pop band coming back. Rangers had the puck. Allison in front. Shot. Saved by Smith on the blocker. Burns in the corner. Rangers looking solid here against the Islanders. Centers, Rogers, Rogers, penalty. Brian Trotsky is going to get another penalty. I believe this one will be for tripping. Watch this. There's Trotsky to left of your screen. Rogers comes in. He puts that leg out. And to please paraphrase somebody that I know very well, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> The Rangers go on the power play again. And they sure haven't been very well, doing very well against the Islanders on the power play. One for 14, including the one tonight. Second power play. Now look at Goring's hand. Going back, no doubt. Scramble. Beck keeps it in. Smith tries to get it position. Duguay coming in. Rangers should get it here on the point. Rogers to Beck. Good pass. Shot. Post. He hit low on the left post. That is to Smith's left. Almost had a quickie there. Don Maloney carries in. Protects the puck with his body. Goes deep with Morrow. Duguay there. Duguay. Don. Rangers still have it. Beck. Puts the line is dry. Wide. Rogers. Islander staying in the box, not coming out to challenge. Beck drives wide, rebound Smith. Boy, Billy Smith looks sharp tonight. The Rangers are going to have to work to beat this guy. He looks very sharp. Watch this. The puck bounced off the board, but watch how quick he's got his eye on that. Look at this. And he covers up very well with Doogie standing right in the corner. Doogie standing in front of the net with one hand on his stick. If he, and for you kids at home, you're standing in front of that, you just bend over, put two hands on that stick, get it down on the ice, and there's no way that they're going to move you out of there. That was a, one of the great secrets of Walter Kachuk's strength on the ice. Always had the stick on the ice. Well, Jim, that's one thing I did up until my last year or two in the game, and then I was standing up too straight, and I was getting killed. Pavlich with the puck here. Nice pass back under pressure. Shot. Save. Rebound. He's got it again. You've got to be lucky to be good, and he is good and lucky both tonight. Great stop, and the rebound came right to him. The rebound. Watch this shot by Dave Maloney. The rebound goes up, and Billy Smith does like a juggling act. Right here. Watch. And there's the juggling act right there. He made a good glove save there. Laidlaw goes deep on it, but it's behind him. Dave Maloney, the safety man here. 56 seconds in the power play. Eddie Johnstone does not have a clean way in and comes back. Nice play here by Andres Keller. Almost took it away from Pav. 43 second power play. Laidlaw has got room to get in. Keller coming back. Johnstone challenges him. The pass is a clean one to center zone. Dave Maloney is there. Have to be very careful, as you know. Rangers have been burned on the Islanders when they had an extra man. John Stone, onside. No. Slow whistle. And you know what Eddie Johnson's saying? Same thing as last night. You called it last night, and you're calling it tonight. And he can't believe it. <laughs> There's no way he believes that's offside. Eddie does talk a little bit. Time in the power play, 26 seconds, face-off center zone. The blue line is the Islanders. The score is tied at one. 
Rachel Leiden hooked that one back too far. That pass. Beck is back. Goring's on top of him. Rogers looking to Rachel Leiden. Referee just has to get out of the way. Rachel Leiden, time remaining, 10 seconds power play. Rachel Leiden finally sends it in deep. Smith makes the stop. Duque and Don Maloney. Don Maloney! Smith back, back in time. In front, knocked aside. Still in the Islanders' end. Rogers. Rogers plays the board for Don. Longevin's on Don Maloney. Power play is over. Scoring did not clear, but the Islanders will get it out here. Pretty play by Trotje. Billy Carroll, 25 out there. First time I've seen him, at least. Here's Beck. 39 seconds in the period, and it has been a dandy. Playoff hockey. Onside. Duguay's broken his stick. Bossy coming down the right flank. Good shot, good save. Here comes Gillies. Somebody's hurt. Allison. Mike Allison ran into the linesman when he jumped over the boards. And I believe the stick hit him in the face. Boy, when the linesmen are getting you too. <laughs> it's like the old boxing story. He hasn't laid a glove on you, but it better check the referee. Somebody's hit him. <laughs> but he's he cut. cut. Yeah. yeah, he's cut. He jumped off the board, uh, off the bench, and the linesman, and I believe he didn't have his stick properly. See, Badney's talking to the linesman right now. He says, what are you doing? The guy's standing right there. He can't go around. Is Badney caught up in a game or what? Every guy out there. Yes, sir. They're caught up in this game. That's a job. They're working hard out there, and that's a job for these guys. They're caught up in it. We have 22 seconds to go. Rangers and Islanders are tied at one. First period, as you look at Dave Maloney. Rangers in. Shot. In front. Fossey's down. I didn't see him get hit. It was off the puck. You did, Phil. Huh? He's okay. He knocked the wind out of him. Dave Maloney went in there with him, and I believe Maloney knocks him down, and he lands right on his back. Okay, watch the right hand of the screen here. Dave Maloney right here. Watch what happens. Okay, took the feet out from under him, and he landed right on his back. And he knocked the breath right out of him. He's all right. He'll be all right. He'll come back. See, he said, I'm all right. When you get hit like that, Jim. All the air goes out at once. It's unbelievable. It's like... You, you think you're going to die. Yeah, you, you're gasping. Yep. Oh, I've been hit a few times like that myself. 17 seconds remain in the period. It is tied at one, and this has been a beauty worth the price of admission. Caller across. Gillies. Pot bad. Seven seconds to go. He'll have a shot. save as the period ends. That was a big save for John Davidson, but the Rangers gave Potvin the blue line with only about six seconds left. The shots on goal in the first shots period. Shots on goal in the first period. Rangers 10, Islanders 9. <laughs> we still got two more to go, for which we're very, very pleased if they continue to... Masters That's game. right. Phil, the big whistle, Chadwick. He refereed more playoffs games. The only man to have more playoff games refereed than Bruce Hood. Here we go. Trotche and Duguay. Islanders have the puck. Hot bat. Ahead by Bourne. Beck coming back. Islanders sending two men deep. Bossy on Beck. Goes to line it. Three men deep for the Islanders. But Duguay works it loose. On the money to McClanahan. Pavlich in front. Missed by the Rangers and the Islanders will break. Rutzelainen just in time there at the red line. Beck. Rejo has it here. 
tomorrow. Morrow down the right side. Spanned on the shot. Being bothered by Pavlich's check. Beck goes down hard. Morrow put him there. Beck went down very hard. 19-13 to go. Yes, he did. There's a look at Barry Beck. You know, in the summertime, he likes to do weights, weightlifting, and the rest of the stuff. Builds his body up. And in the wintertime, he loses weight. But he loses like 5 to 10 pounds but a lot of muscle because he doesn't tone up as much as he would like to do it. He's a, a phenomenal athlete, this man. Yes. He really, super tennis player. I played tennis with him. Could have been a fine tight end. A linebacker, they said. Yeah. Cam Connor. Gary Burns. Petiu and Nystrom tied up. Petiu gets in. Petiu is there. Turns the corner looking for Connor. Comes out too far. And the Islanders get a three on two. Burns takes it down. Penalty. Bad play. Islanders still have the puck. Smith goes to the bench. He has a long way to go. He gets there. Nystrom has got a shot. Wide. Islanders will get another shot here. Toward the net. In front. Petiu got to stick to it. Whistle blows. 1841 to go, second period, 1-1. This is New York Rangers hockey. There's Gary Burns in the penalty box for hooking at 119. The Islanders go on the power play. Watch this hook. There's Burns, he hooks Goring down. And he goes to the penalty box, and the Islanders are on their power play. On their Big base on power it. play. This is their first chance tonight. Rangers had two. Brent Sutter and Dave Maloney tangled up here at the goal line. Dave runs it. Gillies put down by Petorek's check. Puck is still up for grabs. Dave kicks it loose. Johnson lost it. Rangers coming out. Petorek lost it to Brent Sutter, but he carried it all the way down, wasting some clock. Sent in a shot on goal by Dwayne Sutter. Dave Maloney plays the board for Don. Don gets it clear. Last change to the Rangers. John's going off. Duguay on. Ponvaz. Don Maloney slows him up. Gillies poked back by the Rangers. Dave Maloney. Duguay with Don behind him. Don goes in front. Duguay. Good pass to Dave. Shot. Save. Duguay bumps his man. Kept in by Don. In front. Bourne. Duguay's trapped. Here's Trache. Duguay gets back. Born. Trotje's in front. Born can't find him. To the point. Shot. Outside the net. Outside the net. In front. Wide for the crease. Hot bed at left point. Born. Trotje and Born. Challenged by Badley and Dave Maloney. Dave Maloney and Trotje. To the point. Clear. Rangers can't get back in time. McEwen is back. Pot van. Beck is there. Beck and Tonelli. 15 seconds in the power play. Rangers have done a job up until now. It's free for the Islanders. Going to be a shot. Go! Wait a minute. Trotsky is going to get a penalty. For delay a game or what? No, probably kick or trip J.D. in front of the net here. Let's see. He pulled John Davidson down. Let's see it again. I thought something. I thought the, the bad was the one that did it. But watch this. There's a shot by McEwen. And Trotje, you can see his hand up yep. for the penalty. What a break for the Rangers Whoa. right there. Look at Al Arbor. Our play is over in nine seconds. And Rangers will have one. Ryan Trotje goes in a penalty box. We'll get the announcement from downstairs. We'll try to join the PA when it comes. Here's another look at it. Now watch Trotje right here. He jumps up over Vadney. And he knocks down Johnny ball. Davidson. And there is a penalty. And there it a is. A penalty, penalty to number 19 of the island is Brian Trotje. For holding. He gets two minutes for holding, and that's a questionable call. As far as I'm concerned, that's a questionable call. 
But the Rangers will take it and gladly take it. And, and you know what Hood's saying to him? You want more? You keep talking, you want more. Uh, Bruce is the kind of referee who takes control of the game, which is why he's refereed so many. He's the senior official in the league and is one of the best. So the Rangers and Islanders are still tied at one. The goal does not count because the holding penalty against Trache. In nine seconds, the Rangers will have a power play. Beck and Rutzelainen. Duguay. Rutzelainen. Power play. Beck. Burns plays it ahead, then goes off the ice in a chain. Beck could not keep it in. 137 in the power play. Puts the line in the head. Beck's on the right side as Lennon and carries in on offside. Thought Duguay stayed on. Maybe Beck went across the line. It's offside anyway. Okay, wow. And hey, look at this. Five nothing for Beck over Boston. In a second, I can't believe that score. Must have been wow. more than Goulet, unless he got three. It was two nothing before. That's right. He does have two. Wow, five nothing. Surprise. Okay, Ranger power play continues. Beck coming back. JD pounds a stick in the ice to let Beck know he's being chased. Almost a giveaway. Duguay. Ram back, not too far by Marlow. Here comes JD. And gets away with throwing into the crowd with no penalty. Did he ever get away with one there? And look at Hood look at him. And he knows he got away with one. With that high glass, that's hard to put it up over that, too. Gee, that mask looks old-fashioned now, doesn't it? Small. It does when you look at what's happening. You know, I was watching the 70, 69, 70 series, and we were playing Montreal. Rogie Vashon was in goal for Montreal, never had a mascot. Is that late, 69, 70? That's right. It is when you stop and think yep. about it. And even Gump Worsley eventually went to one. I think the last guy was a guy by the name of Andy Brown. Pittsburgh. Shot, save, Ranger power play. Islanders are pressing in here, though. Johnstone across. Dave Maloney. Pass to Petoric. Just onside. Pass back for pass. Stolen. Hickman. Billy Carroll. Two on one with Goring. Only Dave Maloney is back. Goring is free to pass. Missed behind Goring. Rangers breaking. Goring is trapped. Two men trapped deep. Here come the Rangers in force. Petoric. Pass. Shot. Save. It's in with the lights on. Watch the Islanders go mad here for Torrey. Is going to get credit for this goal. Wow. Here's for Torrey. Over to Don Maloney. Don Maloney will get credit for this goal. He shoots. Now, Torrey's got his hand up already. So obviously the puck is in. And see him pointing? Watch this, Donnie Maloney again. Let's take another look. Maybe this is, watch that behind the goal line. Oh, you can't see. But you see Billy Smith's pads are inside that goal line. And for Torek's side, if we had a camera on the other side of the building, we'd be able to see it. But that goal is counts. And now it's 2-1. And they scored a power play goal. Look at Billy Smith. Johnny Maloney is going to get an assist. Time of the goal, four minutes. Robbie Petoric certainly will get an assist. And that's the first time we've seen Al Arbor upset. Well, they got one call back, got a penalty. And now a disputed goal. Bill, what would they be arguing about since it was in the net? Maybe that the whistle should have blown, that he had it? I don't know what they'd be arguing about. It's either in the net or it's not. I don't know. But I do. I'll talk about it. Maybe oh. I, I'll guess. Okay. 2-1 the score. Rangers. Allison. Beck 
pinches deep. Puck to center zone. Roach alighted. Born runs his man pretty hard. Center zone pass for Rogers. Allison going in against Gord Lane. Rangers have two men deep here. Shot towards the net goes wide. Rebound comes out just wide of Allison. Beck is pinching in again. This is Allison. Rangers are really teeing off. Lennon can't get the shot away. Allison here. Gord Lane and Allison. Allison pins free. Look at beat Beck is. Lennon in front. Rogers couldn't get it. Wide. Allison back. What a save by Smith and Allison. Rocher coming out. Bossy. Going to be a shot by Potvin. Score. Dennis Potvin scores on a wrist shot. And just beats Johnny Davidson clean with this one. A beautiful drop pass. Potvin walks in. No one's around him. And he lets fly with a good wrist shot. And I mean, he just beat Davidson. And it went right by John's glove. Here's another look at it. There's Putman. He's got his spot picked and he shoots. And he just beats Davidson on the glove side. And that all was started on an unbelievable save by Billy Smith on Mike Allison. And this game is all tied up again. Okay, Don Maloney's goal. Assisted by Petorik and Johnstone at 431. Putt fans go. Assisted by Trotchy and Bossy at 537. Play is in the Rangers' end. Merrick there with Dory. Gary Burns has the puck. Finds Patiu. Connor trying to break a center zone. Tonelli takes Patiu down. It is tied at two. Nystrom in front. Rangers have the puck and have room to get out here. Smith makes the stop. Patillo trying to get behind the net for Morrow. Burns takes a piece of Morrow. Buck is still in center zone. Three on three, Merrick. Good drop. Nystrom's got help in front. Save. Rebound to Burns. Burns ridden out by Nystrom. Dory carrying the puck again. Shot. Save. And Nick Patillo turned his back into play and didn't realize he's going to put himself offside. 13.36 to go. Second period score. We're back here, 2-2 two -two tie, 13-36, left in the second period. Doogie gets the draw back, Pavlich. Dave over to Vad. Carol Vadney. By Brent Sutter. Gilly short stops it. Gillies and Pavlich. Pavlich puts Billy Gillies down. Excuse the chuckle, but there, there's a mismatch in size. Actually, Dwayne Sutter hit Pavlich who was standing with Gillies. Don't take so, the hit away from Pav. Okay, so everybody knocked him out. Okay, I won't. Marcus Hurdy, by the way. Yes, he is at the hit point. Look at him, right there, you see. He is not skating as fluidly. He's not taking any face off. And he's Hurdy. Bad name. Quite a happy Dugay. Gillies. Stip come up around. Badney's face almost got him. Deep in the Rangers end this time. Pavlich takes it away from Gillies. Dugay's got it. He's got help on the left with McClanahan. He's onside. Dugay trailing. McClanahan ridden into the corner. Puck is under there someplace. Still free. No whistle. And face off in the Islanders end. 12.53 to go. Second period. Score tied at two. There's McClanahan and Pavlich. McClanahan having a pretty good series. You know, one of the reasons why these two games have been so great here at the Garden, no junk, no nonsense, hard-hitting hockey, almost no dirty play. It's been great hockey to watch. It has been. No, I haven't thought about that. The Pavlich isn't skating as fluid as he would like. Face off to Billy Smith's right. Smith has been tough. And Trotsky, you know, is out there every face-off. And winning an awful lot of them. This one, Petorik wins and it gets by our defenseman. Happens sometimes. John Stone is bad and a hard shot. Penalty coming up. Penalty coming up against the Islanders. Dave Maloney carries in. He's got a shot. Save! 
Well, 37 to go. Second period score tied at two, and this is New York Rangers hockey. Clark Gillies gets two minutes for interference at 7.23. And the Rangers, watch this. We'll get it right here. He hits Eddie Johnstone right there, kicks his feet out from under him, knocks him down, and that's interference. Ranger power play. They've got one power play goal. Beck has the puck. Backhand in. Johnstone, nice move around Morrow. Johnstone. Beck at right point. Roots line at left point. Shot by Don is possible. He lost it. Penalty. Don makes a bad move, and he knows it. He took Goring down. That negates the power play. Yes, Donnie Maloney knows it right there. Look at him. He knows he made the bad move. He should have shot the puck. First, he fakes it. He faked it right there, then he just pulled Goring right down to get the puck again. And watch the reaction. He knows it. And he's really mad at himself. Anyway, Don Maloney for tripping at 7.44. So they'll play four, four side for the next minute and 39 seconds. 2-2 two, two the score here, a second period. We're coming up in the halfway mark. 12-16 remains. Great hockey to watch. Rogers almost lost it, held it. Mike Force deeper. Rich Linen tucks it, looks for Dugay. Dugay's got some room here. He's got Beck on the left side. But again, Smith is giving no rebounds. That was a great shot by Ronnie Dugay and an equally good save by... Billy Smith, because that puck was rolling and it was like a knuckleball. There's a good look at that. Well, he took he's, a shot. Yeah, he's got the Band-Aid on, but he got that stick he's and a, a puck. He's had about three near the eye this year. He's had a whole sequence of them. He sure has. Wow. He was having trouble uh, talking and smiling yeah. coming down in the car. Johnson here. Rottier back. Johnson again. Eluded a check by Beck. He's skating well. Pass Rogers. Nice play in front. Rangers are lucky again. No penalty call on a move there. And Duguay tries to get it ahead. Cannot. Takes a hit. Rogers in front of his own net. Still four on four. Duguay will get to it. He's very deep though. In front. Nothing but Islanders there. 47 seconds in the Islander penalty. Then they'll have a power play. The Rangers changing. Pavlich reaches for his man. Dave Maloney. Dave coming out. The Rangers in pretty good form here. They got a chance at it just ahead of the line. Pavlich just couldn't quite hold up. The Rangers got away with a penalty. Rogers grabbed Johnson. Johnson and got away with it there in Chicago. It's a 2-2 tie now. Patey has scored for St. Louis. I love what you said before. Dugay was having trouble smiling. I can feel a joke only when I laugh. <laughs> now we were right driving out of the car and he was, we were talking about things and a couple of words were said, but he couldn't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Joe. McEwen has the puck. Here's Potvin. 2-2 the score. In 18 seconds, they'll have a power play. Potvin, shot. Reflected wide, right side of J.D. Rangers have it, Pavlich. Laidlaw around Bossy's check. Three on two. Vadney, or rather McClanahan. McClanahan's in deep in front. Smith stops the puck on the side of the net. Pavlich, McClanahan in front. Shot here possible. Dave Maloney got between McClanahan and Pavlich and knocked it away. Ten and a half minutes to go. This is Laidlaw. Power play Islanders for just eight seconds. They'll just get across center zone. McEwen. Drop pass back. Power plays over. Rutschelina knocks it away. Giveaway by Gillies. Rangers breaking. Three on three, though. Don Maloney just out of the box lost it, coming across the line. Crotchet looking for a wing. Bossy shot. J.D. came way out and gave him nothing. That puck hit Gillies. Comes free. Rangers, Don Maloney. Morrow coming back. 
Petorek takes Morrow. Pass Johnson. Gilly centers it. Rangers keep it in momentarily, then back to center. Don's back on side. Goes into Johnson and takes him down. 9.36 to go, second period. Score tied at two. Well, it's Leinen and Beck. Morrow. Don Maloney finishing off his check on Morrow. Bossy and Beck. Tonelli. Brent Sutter is in there, or rather Merrick is in there. This is uh, Beck coming out. Johnstone ahead. Lennon was onside, but Smith was there. Isn't he always? 9.07 to go. Second period score tied at two. This is New York Ranger hockey. Great playoff action starts tomorrow night at the Meadowlands Arena as the New Jersey Nets take on the Washington Bullets. Buy your tickets at the arena box office for the 7.35 start. Be there. You can be the home court advantage. Islanders only have three shots on net in this period. Rangers have five. We're halfway through the period. Face off right side of Smith. Three puck. Teal goes to the corner. Morrow turns the corner. Comes up on Merrick's side. Behind Dory. Here comes Nystrom. Quick shot. Laidlaw got a piece of it. Nystrom follows up his shot. Something he does very well. Laidlaw to the blue line. Kept in by Janssen. In front, Merrick to, he's taken down, right out front. Nystrom taken down, two on two Rangers. Patillo's wide on the left. Laidlaw comes across the line. Patillo for the net, but the puck does not reach him. Smith is there. 8.34 to go. Nystrom coming down the side. Spins away from a check. He and Patillo came together with high sticks. Right in front of the referee, who's too busy protecting himself to call anything. Bouncing puck in the corner. Tonelli in front. Going to be a shot. Morrow deflected in front. Save! There was a big one. Patillo and Nystrom are really going at each other. Penalty coming up as Dory holds his man down. 8.06 to go. Second period score tied at two. This is New York Rangers hockey. Andre Dory gets... Two minutes for holding at 11.54. And the Islanders on a power play again. Watch this. Here's Dory, and you know who he's trying to hold. And he does hold. That's Tonelli. Watch his power play. Islander power play. Knocked loose by Petorek. It hit the linesman. Doesn't come too far down. They've had one full power play, the Islanders, and a little piece of another one. Don Maloney sends it in. Here comes Dugay. Dugay bodies his man. Potvin. Bourne. Shot toward the goal, deflected. Stays in play. Islander power play in the Rangers' end. Dugay gets to it. Dugay fighting along the board. Puck is not cleared. Still in the Rangers' end. Dugay gets away with a hold on the sideboards. Rangers get it clear. Darryl Vatney. Mike McEwen down the right side. Holds up. Offside. So far what they're doing, they're holding the Islanders outside of that blue line and not letting them come in. As you look at Mike Bossy. Look at this. All Boston has got a goal in the second period. Bruce Crowder has scored. And Quebec now leads 5-1. There's a minute and eight seconds left in that power play to Andy Dory. Islanders get the draw. Boy, Trotje has been winning draw after draw. All going to his forehand. Every one. Born and Laidlaw rides him into the corner very effectively. Face off Rangers end. Now is a big important draw. And when it's to the right of the goaltender, like right of now, Johnny Davidson, Trotze tries to draw it on his backhand. He is not a, as effective on his backhand. Now, they got Eddie Johnstone taking a draw here because they're afraid of the shot on goal. I don't know. Hot fans to the right. Yeah, but Trotze is going to try to draw this back Johnson. to Bossy cutting across. And right. Eddie, Eddie Johnstone, that's all he has to do is play his stick. But I would still... 
And there it is. There it is. Here's Bossy in the corner, though. Trottier behind the net. Gillies in front. That's all there is to it. Perfect play. Mark Gillies has scored for the Islanders. A power play goal. And again, a face-off. Watch this. Eddie Johnstone, he's with over here, but the puck gets back. It hits the linesman. And Trotsky back to Bossy. Bossy goes back behind the net to Trotsky. Watch Clark Gillies to the right. Unchecked, untouched. And he just beats Johnny Davidson. Watch his puck. It hits the linesman right there. But Laidlaw let Bossy beat him to the puck. Meantime, Gillies is left alone in front, and that's a terrible mistake. There it is here. And John Davidson is going to the bench. Something has happened. He's hurt. Back. He's walking like a back. Yeah, John Davidson has hurt himself. 6.52 to go. Second period, 3 2 Islanders. This is New York Ranger hockey. he came in like this as the first game of the series and did a heck of a job John Davidson pulled something yep it yeah, may he, have been his back Jim. He, right he walked like back but you know the same feeling you can have with, with a deep groin or maybe an upper leg pull as well but he walked like a like a bad back wow I, I don't want to make an Esposito sound like a prophet but we were talking before the game about the goaltending change Phil said among other things that in a game like at 13 0 Eight. Trache has three points. Bossy has three points. These guys are flying tonight. Morrow goes back. The end of the Rangers end. No power play. Five aside. There should be an icing call. That and they coming back. And the key to beating the Islanders, and we've talked about it amongst other things, is stopping Trache and stopping Bossy. Mark Gillies gets the touch. I believe are the keys. This is such a very deep team, the Islanders. You can't just isolate one or two people. The Rangers have fairly well negated uh, the, the Tonelli Nystrom group in yesterday's game, but somebody else comes on to score. It is very difficult. You've got to stop three lines here. 6.41 to go. Now we'll see Eddie Mio probably dress and go as backup. Yep. Right hamstring apparently is John Davis's problem. Shot toward the net goes wide right side. Morrow and Allison. Smith pokes it wide. Lennon in the corner. Allison trying to get free and does. Had to retrieve his stick. Rogers in front. Dave Maloney can't keep it in. Vadney lost it. Gillies stopped by Van. A gutty play. Lost the puck and did the only thing he wanted to do. Well, no one does the uh, blocking shots, I believe, any better than Carol Vadney. The best guy I ever saw do it was Al Arbor. But watch our Vadney right here. The timing is all important here. You kids at home, when you're playing in a hockey game, be careful about doing that. Vadney gets paid for doing that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't take one in the kisser for no reason. 3-2 Islanders, second period. There will be another game, regardless of what happens tonight. Wednesday night. I hope you're with us on most of these stations. Brent Sutter and Duke Gay. Vadney is there. Looking for Duke Gay. Gillies flagged it down in center zone. Shot wide of Weeks. Rangers coming out. Vadney, Duke Gay, two on two. McClanahan. Shot McClanahan, save, rebound, clear. There's one of the few rebounds you'll ever see from Smith tonight. Dwayne Sutter and Vadney. Vadney went across to protect the left side. Dave swaps with him on the right. Dave off the boards for Duguay. Rangers down by a goal, 5.41 to go, second period. Duguay onside, Duguay surrounded, lost the puck in front, Islanders. One man back, two free on the right side. Tinelli centering pass, wide of Weeks. Rangers got back in a hurry, 5.24 to go, second period. Potvan and Duguay. 
Not bad. The two back. Icing. Five minutes, ten seconds to go as you look at Nick Patillo coming back. We're in the second period. The Islanders are leading the Rangers by a score of 3-2. You know, this crowd is unusually quiet tonight, Jim. Uh, contrary to last night's game, even though it's only 3-2, the Rangers are still very much in this game. I think he looks tired, doesn't he? Well, it's been a long season for all these guys, including the Islanders, including all the hockey. It's been a very long season. Now the crowd starts to go as Eddie Layton gets them up with the organ on the far side. Allison tries to get the draw back. Patil knocks it away. There's Langevin. Spins away from Nick. Connor knocks it free. Goring. Nystrom. Long shot on Weeks. In the Rangers end. They're coming out in a hurry. Gory ahead for Connor. Cam scales one in. That's on Patil's side. Tries to get through Tonelli's check. Coming back to the blue line. Kept in by Dory. Connor. Burns couldn't get turned around. Laidlaw pinches. Patillo's in front. Burns came in in a hurry. Patillo and Burns. Burns has the puck. Patillo in front. Lost. And the Islanders come out. Mike McEwen. Nystrom. Solid check on Nystrom. Rangers come the other way. Burns for Patillo. Nicky at the red line taking off the puck. Has it again. Offside. Burns preceded Connor. 4.15 remain. So John Davison pulled a hamstring. He probably pulled that hamstring on his, uh, they said his right leg, when he stretched to try to block that shot. Uh, the goal of Clark Gillies. Here's Cam Connor. He's had two big goals for the Rangers in this playoffs. He had one other one playing for the Canadians. Thomas Johnson back. This is Gillies on the side. Gillies takes the return pass. Johnstone goes after him. Johnson and Don Maloney. Don is there first. Johnstone's in front. Can't get it away. Behind Beck. He'll get back. Don Maloney. Johnson into center zone. They're flooding that right wing a couple of times in a row here, Phil. They got a couple of guys breaking down the right. You know, this game has really, really slowed down yep. since uh, Johnny Davidson has gone out. It's gotten very, very calm. You know, the, Davidson was the last Ranger goaltender to record a shutout in a playoff in 1979, 6 nothing over Philadelphia. Johnson. Morrow sends one ahead. I hit the linesman's leg. Badney's got it. Islanders have two men deep. Badney fights it loose from those two and finds Johnstone. Here come the Islanders as Johnstone lost it after being taken down. Morrow with the puck. Gillies behind the net. Rangers might be able to get it loose here. Off the sideboard, center zone. Linesman's in the way. Johnstone can't break. Gillies turns it back in again. 3-10 to go, second period. Johnstone. EJ sends it in. Rangers looking for a change. Penalties coming up. Don Maloney. They haven't dropped their sticks yet. Is that Keller? Look who's got Tom Gillies again. Poor Mike Allison always seems to square off with uh, Gillies. It's Anders Keller and Don Maloney. Johnstone and Johnson. seen in this series. And this all started with Don Maloney and Anders Keller. And then Johnson and Johnstone. They're both gone for five and with less than five to go they'll go to the dressing room. 
Here's his here. Watch Maloney and Keller. This is how it all started. Keller's holding onto his stick. So Don Maloney pushes him. He's still holding onto it. So Whoa. Keller took a, took a wicked swipe at him. Oh, wow. I hate that. And Donnie's ready to go. And Keller doesn't drop his stick. Look at the stick. And he's wearing a mask. So that's how it all started. So Maloney and Keller will probably get will probably get uh, two minutes each for oh high sticking or slashing or something, and then Johnstone and Johnson Johnson will probably get five at least. Yep. But Mike Ellison is in that penalty box too, and I'm wondering why. Keller is in. Well, folks, we'll just have to wait here and yep. see what happens. Eddie Mio is dressing, we have heard. And he will be on the bench in the third period. Take a look at her Brooks. He's wondering what's going on. Shaking his head. And Al Arbor, he doesn't know what's going on either. <laughs> Just as soon as they decide downstairs, we'll join the PA so you can hear it. You know what, Jim? I just heard somebody say Tim and Ms. Cunnock. So somebody has Tim and Ms. Cunnock. Okay. They've got it all sorted out. They'll be announcing it over the PA system. We'll try to join them. Probably Allison. He has a Tim and Ms. Cunnock. He wasn't third man in because he's still on the he's in the penalty bench. And we've got 2.58 to go in the second period. The Rangers are down by a goal. Bruce Hood comes back over again. He's checking the Ranger penalty by bench. 28. 28. Listen to a little bit. John Maloney. John Maloney. The one who's not tripping. No, no. You can hear them trying to get it sorted out. And Hood is counting <laughs> Ranger penalties and looking over toward the Islander bench like he expected to see somebody else in there. Well, so far, they've got... Mike Ellison's number up there for two minutes. And they've got Keller's number out there for two minutes. They don't even have Don Maloney. There goes another two minutes right there. That yeah, must be Don Maloney. Go. Let's listen. Let's listen. Number three of the Islanders, Thomas Janssen, has five minutes for fighting and a 10 minute misconduct. Number 28 of the Islanders, Anders Keller, has two minutes for stick, high sticking. Number 12 of New York, Don Maloney, two minutes for high sticking. Number 14 of the Rangers, Mike Allison, two minutes for tripping. And number 17 of the Rangers, Eddie Johnstone, five minutes for fighting and a 10 minute misconduct. Time of all penalties. 17 minutes, two well, we seconds. Well, we know we saw Maloney. 17. You oh, heard that. Two. We'll give it to you all right now. Johnson and Johnston. Okay, let's go back to live action. We'll give it to you in a little while. Yeah, see if you can get Johnson and Johnstone separated by that time. Here comes McEwen to the right side. McEwen again. Trottier shot here. Save! Weeks just deflected enough of it. It went through him, but why? This is a power play for the Islanders. Duguay four checking on Pavat. It's four on three. Trache goes for the net without the puck. Knocked side in front. Free puck shot. Blocked. Beck. Duguay gets there. Beck went down. Took the puck on his body and lifts it clear. One minute and two seconds in the power play. Back behind Beck. Hard shot off the boards. Looks like he's trying to take on half the Islander team with that one. 
Goring. Morrow behind Potvin. Good pass. Outside by Bossy. Outside the net. Potvin. Morrow. Penalty. Beck goes down. And Goring is gone. And Goring is angry. And Beck drew a penalty. <laughs> you be the judge. Watch Beck draw this penalty. Watch this. This penalty is to this from Trimmy. Number 91. The Alice Butch. Oh, boy. I'll tell you, that was a good penalty to draw by Barry Beck. But it sure didn't look like a penalty to us up here. And as you notice, if you've been live, watching the telecast during the course of the season, that I've been much more lenient during the playoffs. Have I not, Jim? I think you've been pretty good. I have been much more lenient. Not very good. Oh, not yet? Pretty good. But I'm trying. Anyway. <laughs> now they're playing three aside. So we give you all these penalties while we're waiting. Johnson and Johnstone, five each for fighting and ten in misconduct. Don Maloney and Callar, high sticking. Allison tripping, all at 17.02. Now Goring for tripping at 18.39. Only three players in each team on the ice. Good line, and this should be tailor made for him. All this open space. Rangers go in. Dave Maloney. Freezes Morrow. Rooks line is free at right point. They can't find him. Rogers to Dave. Rooks line in. Don Maloney's out of the box. Feed for Rogers. Why? Allison on the side. Don Maloney and Mike Allison. The power play for the Rangers. Allison back for Dave Maloney. Rooks line in. Dave Maloney. Shot. The pass actually. Looking for Rogers on the far side. Coming back to center zone. 32 seconds in the period. Weeks in relief of John Davidson. Went out with a pulled hamstring. Islanders get to the puck first. Rangers having a delayed offside possible. 17 seconds to go in the period. Dave Maloney. Rogers. Rogers has it. He gives it back. Nine seconds in the period. Rich Alinez. Time running down. Shot. Save. Oh. And the period ends. Well, let's see some again. Boy, what a save right there. Rogers. He has the puck and he blasts this one. But watch Donnie Maloney. Middle of your screen. He whacks at it right here. And it just goes by the open goal. It'll be the battle for the undisputed And the period the ends. Title. Uh, boy, he whacked at that. It just went by the open goal. And so, at the end of two, the score is Islanders three and Rangers two. Which would, if they lose this one, Islanders would go home knowing that they can wrap it up at home. The Rangers need this one very badly, but it is not the end. Well, it's not the end. And it's uh, like Yogi Berra says, not over till it's over. I but, never quite thought about it that way before. But three games to one down against the Stanley Cup defending champions. Although it's happened before. Okay. And it happened the Islanders did it to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Exactly right. Well, let's, let's see. see the uh, optimist. Now, let's be the other way. <laughs> no, no. I think you ought to get all the cliches out of the way. One goal at a time, one game at a time, one period at a time, Phil. That's the way they're going to have to play it here. I guess so. Anyway, we start this period. Eddie Johnstone and Johnson, I got to make it right that time, are still in the penalty box, and we don't know what, how much time they have. They have a 10 misconduct. We know that. Here we go. Center zone. There is no power play. Five aside. Rangers need a goal for a tie. Last night we had overtime. Long shot on Weeks. We had to make a stretch for that one. Rutz line and back. Pavlich. Boy, Beck was driving in. Beck is much more mobile here. Might be springing him loose. He's been staying back for defensive purposes. Beck. 
Taken away by Bourne. Bourne might have a shot. Angle shot steered behind the net by Weeks. Rangers coming out. Roots aligning. Beck is certainly up ice, no doubt. Look at Beck. Beck's in front. Beck's in front. Pavlich lost it. Here comes Beck. Duguay covering, sends one towards center. Pavlich back. Duguay won't be able to keep it in. So the Rangers come out with a definite plan in mind, utilizing Barry Beck. On a change. Here come the Islanders. Gilly shot. Save. Didn't know he had it. Went wide. Shot blocked. Up ahead to Don from Dave. Can't get the shot off. Now and wide by Dave Maloney off Billy Smith. They got Bossy on the wing. Here's Bossy. Knocked free by Laidlaw. Lajevin. Weeks lays it off for Laidlaw. Lennon in the head. Bouncing puck. Nice from across. Tonelli. In front and through. McEwen has to backtrack. Non-stop action here. Third period. Rangers down by a goal. Goring. Shot toward the goal. Tonelli goes deep. Nystrom can't get the shot off. Bad days on him. Allison will come out. Rogers at left wing. Led him too far. There's an icing call. 17-37 to go. Third period. 3-2 Islanders. This is New York Rangers. Hot. Laidlaw ahead. Sticked away. Laidlaw back again. Solid check by Nystrom. Shot toward the net. Saved by Weeks. Clearing save. Going to come back for a shot by Lane. Deflected in front. Rangers coming out. Pator, good puck control. Wallace lost it. He put it too far in front. And offside is called. He did not have control coming across the line. And now, there'll be a whole wholesale change. There's Gord Lane. This guy was benched during the season. Last year, he used the same thing. Islander fans were all over him. All over him. And when he comes in the playoffs, he really, really plays a good brand of hockey, works hard. Barry Beck, one of the very best. Beck. Rutsch line it. Rangers need a goal for a tie, third period. Beck ahead. Allison chasing into the corner. Born. Stolen. Rogers. Save. And as usual, Smith gives up no rebound. I think I've seen one, maybe two tonight. Paul Smith. And when he gives up the rebound, he pushes it towards the corner, which is good. And Herbie Brooks is trying to get his guys going. Herb Brooks is yapping behind that bench. He's trying to get them going. Get the crowd going, too. Free puck inside the Islanders' end. Trottier here. Center zone. Beck. McEwen across. Born into the Rangers' end. Takes the shot, has to wheel. Islanders have a wall at that blue line. Beck turns it in. Allison on Born, Langevin. McEwen. Center zone. Letting it. Onside, no. Offside. 15.46 to go. Third period. 3 2 Islanders. This is New York Ranger hockey. There's Doogie out there with McClanahan and Pavlich. 
And you folks can tell that Mark Pavlich is not 100%. And does he make a difference to this team? He makes Duguay go. McClanahan pokes it for Duguay. Can't quite reach it in time. Brent Sutter. Dwayne Sutter. Brent comes away. He's got a shot. Save. Rebound wide. Brent tries to get the rebound. Pat in front. Badney took the man. Dave takes the puck. Pavlich. McClanahan saved it. Pavlich lost his edge as he turned. McClanahan taken away by Gillies. Clark sends it in. 15-11 to go in the game. Pavlich coming out. Onside. No. McClanahan a half stride across. And now the Rangers are doing the things that they did last night. They went offside a little bit too much. The timing isn't on right. And that's well with this I can see because of Mark Pavlich who really isn't 100 percent. So consequently his timing's off a bit and it throws his line mates off a bit. Face off is at the Islanders line. There's Butch Goring. Lane. Shot. Save. Might have carried wide. Look out. Fast whistle is nice from gets it loose. Steve Weeks made the save, but nobody picked up the puck for him. That's why. A little miss. Uh, that's how Bossy got his, if you recall. That's right, but there was a little bit of a miscommunication there between Weeks and his defenseman. Doogie comes out to take this draw. Now let's watch Goring. I'm sure he's going to put that hand backwards. So Doogie just go against him. There he goes. He's backwards. You're right. And Doogie blocks the stick. Doogie. Burns. Wide of Smith. Dory takes a chance and keeps it in. Right out in front, but Lane is there. Scoring. Gets away from Matias stick. Shot. Save. Wide. Still in the Rangers' end. Connor couldn't quite get that in his backhand. Lane and Connor. Into the Rangers' end. 14 10 to go. Islanders are very content to get that puck into the Rangers' end now. Just four check. They're sending just one man deep a lot of the time. Unless they got a clear opportunity. Morrow. Burns. Pass to Connor. Beck almost in. Off his stick. Back to center zone. Roots line and wasting some time for the Rangers get back. Here's Beck. Beck and Patiu. Patiu, sharp angle. Got a man in front. Tim Connor ties this game up and again he comes up with a big goal. Patiu goes in the corner. Beck pushes the head. Now watch Patillo take a hit from Kenny Morrow, number six. And here's how much Nick has learned this year. He took that check, made a good pass, caught fan, misplayed that puck, and Cam Connor puts it in, and the Rangers tie this game up at three. Watch again. Watch the hit on Morrow, by Morrow on Patillo. Last year, Nicky would have retaliated. He took that hit. And Cam Connor, a putt fan, misplayed that. Cam Connor comes through again for the Rangers. His third goal of the series, or of the playoffs. Great angle on that one. Dave Maloney. Save. It is tied at three. Now the crowd wakes up. Here's a giveaway. Santa's own. Merrick ahead. Right back out. Rangers have wakened up themselves. Lennon it. Throws it in. Bouncing puck. Smith makes the stop. 13-12 to go. Long shot. Wide. Gillies is deep. Beck takes it. Gillies still has the puck. Good center. Stopped in front. Petora comes away. Onside. Don's in front. Smith takes it high. 
And the referee blows the whistle. 12.44 to go, third period, score tied at three. This is New York Ranger hockey. That goal, Cam Connor from Patillo and Beck at 6.19. And the Listen crowd is going nuts. Listen to this. Rangers are in deep. McClanahan takes a hit in the corner. Back out. Beck has the puck. It is tied at three. Rogers ahead. McClanahan. Good sliding stop. Both teams have come alive now. Back to center zone. Bossy lost it. Rogers sends it right back in again. McClanahan on pot bad. Rogers cannot quite get it loose. Roots aligned. Rangers had the puck. Mike Rogers. Almost lost it on a check by Bossy. Here comes Rogers. Lost it now. Bossy's in. Two on one. Rogers. Here comes Rogers again. Hot bad. Rangers had the puck. Rogers in front. Can't get a shot away. Hot bad takes it away. Laidlaw's got a pass. Rogers on the sideboard. Allison here. Rogers behind the net. In front off the side of the net. Billy Smith with that long stick, and here comes Potvin. Bourne, slow down. Good check, Laidlaw. Islanders on a change. Here comes Dory. Dory forces his way in. On lane. Dory in front. Shot. Fire. Around the left side of Smith. Gillies. Centers on Dwayne Sutter. Brent Sutter, 21. Shot high in the air. Off the glass. Gillies has Brent Sutter in front. Gord Lane. Screen shot blocked. Blade law. Just beyond Duguay's reach. Oh, what a change in the game. Lane. Here comes Duguay. He's got a man in front and Burns. Can't get to it. Poked away. Langevin finally centers. Gillies. Rangers forcing the honors into mistakes. 10.35 to go. Wow. Listen. 10.35 remains. The score, 3-3. Three, three. Ten twenty-two to go. Third period in the Rangers' end. Dory back. Isaac. Boy, this crowd is up and on their feet, and they're cheering now. There's Eddie Johnstone. Boy, troubles, eh? Boy. Oh, that's a still picture. He doesn't hold it that long. <laughs> There's the man that's having the best game for the Islanders tonight, Brian Trotcher. Rangers and Islanders are tied at three again. Connor in front. Katorik ridden off the puck. Coming back to Dory's side. Shot toward the net. Connor's in front. High off the glass. And Nystrom listening to the blue line. Katorik. Where did he take Morrow? Hard hit in the corner. The Islanders are still coming out. Laidlaw is there. 9.53 to go. And lifted into the Rangers' end. Just like overtime now with 9.46 to go. Every play's important. Here comes Don Maloney. Patoric. Could not get it in onto good control. Popped him with the puck. Rangers completing a change. Tonelli in in a hurry. Allison takes a hit for Nystrom and goes down. Here comes Beck. Beck forces it in. Plays it ahead. Beck and Langevin. Beck taken out by Langevin. Solid checking now. Knocked away by the Rangers. Mike Allison. Beck's in front. Allison in the corner. Beck took a heavy hit in front of the net. Boy, are they fighting out there. Puck is up the grab. Your front. Good save. He got it. And clears to the left. 9.04 to go. Oh, my Lord. What a game to watch. Going. In front, save and wide. Tonelli here. Dugay. Lennon with Rogers. 
8.40 to go. Duguay's deep. Rogers in behind the net. Duguay and Rogers. Lennon in. Might keep this one in. He does. Langevin passes around Rogers. Dave Maloney knocks it away. All the way across to Madney. Backhand shot. Smith goes out of his net. Langevin. Kept in by Vadney again. And the Islanders have it. Time remaining, 8-10. Score is tied at three. Anders Counter. Behind the goal line. Weeks lost his stick. Weeks lost his stick. It's in the corner. Rangers trying to keep it in center zone. Dave Maloney does. He's in. Folk checked away. He gets it back. Dugay. Missed. Shot off the glass. Rogers with the puck. Badney deep. One man back. Here comes McClanahan to make it to Dwayne Sutter. Go! Dwayne Sutter scores for the New York Islanders. He cut around. There it is here. Dave Maloney knocks that puck. Sutter picks it up. Cuts around, he knocks his puck in, I believe, with his body. No, he doesn't. What a great play. Steve Weeks went down to block. Here's another look at it. Watch how Sutter puts this in on the backhand. Dave Maloney had deflected it. Now Sutter comes across and puts it on his backhand, right between Steve Weeks' legs and in the net, and Weeks went into the goalpost. Dwayne Sutter scores. Time of the goal, 12-27. Back with the puck, sends one ahead. Could be an icing call. Oh, what a third period this turned out to be. 7.23 to go yet. Score is 4-3 Islanders. This is New York Rangers hockey. That goal, Dwayne Sutter from Wayne Merrick at 12-27. Islanders lead 4-3. Islanders in the Rangers' end. Shot toward the goal. Saved by Weeks. Rebound is missed as it poked aside. Roach line and poked it into the corner. Roach line with a check in front. Eddie Johnstone is out of the, bay, the box long since. From the point, wide. Rebound in front and through. Islanders are now pressing their advantage. They lead by a goal. Johnstone gets it loose. Trotje and Johnstone. EJ pulls up short. Puts the line and missed at the red line. There will be icing, though. Yep. Now there's 6.44 left in this game. Well, in this third period, because we forgot overtime. As the Rangers need a goal. They were pressing like crazy, the Rangers. And how many times have we seen that happen this year? And how many times have I seen it happen? In a Rangers? lifetime. Yeah. Look at that final. Quebec beat Boston 7-2. That series is all tied at two. And now they go back to Boston for Wednesday night. Boy, Boston better get some goals any pretty soon, Phil. Well, maybe just maybe the kid, maybe uh, his luck ran out or something. Maybe we wouldn't be surprised to see Bash on in that net. If I was Jerry Cheaters, I'd put him in. He's off on the left side of Steve Weeks in relief of John Davidson. John pulled a hamstring. Dave Maloney. Rangers are showing third period strength again as they have throughout the season. But the Islanders got the big goal. Allison. Allison. Chips one toward the net. Gillies lifts it clear. The difference tonight, the single difference is Billy Smith. He's been brilliant in the nets when the Rangers got the good shots. Allison. Lennon in. Lennon in through in front. Wide. Shot. Save. Rebound. Oh, Allison put down hard by Dwayne Sutter. He's all right, I guess. 554 to go. Four three honors. This is New York Ranger hockey. A 
Again, Billy Smith comes up big, makes two big saves. One on Mike Allison, and one on the point man, Dave Maloney. Watch this first. Right around, it goes around. Watch Bad miss this puck. He just missed it, it was wide open. Then Rogers goes back to Dave Maloney. Here's a shot, a save, and Allison puts it right between the legs, and we're back to live action. Patiu coming in, high on Smith, is on the back of the net. And we'll get a whistle. Well, the Rangers are arguing about they could have played it off the net, and they're supposed to. They got three, three seconds to try to play that puck off, and it doesn't come off. But in a playoffs game, like a playoff game like this, or any playoff game for that matter, they're going to let that net puck stay in the net. Laid long to the red line. Put to you. Sent in by Burns. This is Tonelli. Into the Islanders bench. And it'll be a face off in the Islanders end. You know, Phil, a thought that suddenly occurs to me what a difference this playoff series is from the one last year with the Islanders, where in four games, certainly the first three, the Islanders just totally and absolutely dominated the Rangers in about every category. Only the fourth game did the Rangers get competitive, the one they lost. Yeah, you're right, Jim. I watched those games. I watched you and Bill Chadwick watch the games on TV. You're absolutely correct. The Rangers have come an awful long way this year. And they're a good hockey team. And they're not finished yet. No, they are not. 5.23 to go. Pavlich in a slot. Dugay fights the draw ahead. Taken down. Pavlich gets it loose. Pavlich with McClanahan and Dugay in front. Pavlich again. McClanahan can't quite reach it. The honors should come out. Lane pulled down. And nothing called there. Nothing will be called, apparently. You're right right there, Jim. I don't think anything is going to be called. Nystrom. Potvin. Goring. Potvin. I was wasting a little clock here. Shot Goring. Save Weeks. Good save. Hard save. Nystrom deep. Pavlich drives him in the corner and takes it away. McClanahan ahead. Dugay. Two on two. Can't get under control. McClanahan's onside, though. Lost it. Tonelli takes it away. Goring comes in again. Plays the corner with 4.28 remaining in the game. Beck and Tonelli. Let's align it. McClanahan. McClanahan. Merrick takes him out. Smith makes the stop. Hands off to Johnson. Taken away by the Rangers. Beck pinches in. Free puck to center zone. Roots align it. Just off the bench now. Don Maloney. They wouldn't call a mugging now. 3.57 to go. Frozen puck. The more I see... Uh, this and this has been classic. This is not Bruce Hood. It's been this way down through the years of not calling penalties in the third period in a playoff game. The less I like it. It's just plain stupid. Well, it all started. Watch this one right here. Watch Morrow. He just grabs him and flings him right down. But it started with a face off. Trotty got Doogie. Then McClanahan pulled down Lane. Absolutely a penalty. And then this one. That's three. <laughs> There's no way he's going to call it. It's three minutes and 51 seconds left. Jim, I'm not saying it's right, but that's the way it's been for 35 to 40 years. It's about time they change it for the next 35 or There's 40. There's a lot of things I'd like to see change in this game. Free puck into the corner. Trotty at the red line. Weeks makes the stop. Patoric on the sideboards. Cannot get it free. Shot by Johnson. Saved by Weeks. Clears behind his goal line. Up to left wing. Don Maloney. Looking for Patoric. He's got him. John Stone coming in on the right side. EJ here with Johnson. Put him down hard. Merrick's got the puck. Patoric. Patoric. Nobody's in front. He waits. He's got one. Poked aside. That was Morrow. Don Maloney. Merrick is tripped and no call. Rangers take it away, but can't hold it. Bad day back. 3.06 to go. The only thing they're going to call now is be a slash or a high stick or something. 
Two fifty-eight to go. Well, they just called an offside. <laughs> uh, some progress. <laughs> There's Fatorik. Eddie Johnston hit the Johnson boy. Then Fatorik tripped him. There's a look at the Ranger bench as Eddie Johnstone goes in. Okay. And the fans try to get the Rangers going. This face off is at the Rangers line. Into the Rangers end, letting it. Beck. Went and lost it. Drive by McEwen. Roots the line in back with Bourne. Beck has to come across. It's right out in front. Holland has beat the Rangers to it. Bourne in the corner. Bossy's in front. Along with Trottier. Rangers had the puck though. Two and a half minutes to go. Rogers. Trottier. McEwen. Trottier. Good drop. Bossy. Snapshot. Save. Two minutes, ten seconds to go. Fanned on in the corner. Allison back. Bossy doing some good for checking. Allison under attack. Fires across Roots Alliance. McClanahan. In front. And kick wide off. The gamer may be right there. 152 to go. Shot goes wide. Dugay goes to the corner. Gillies takes him out. Badney is deep. Puck is up the grass. Morrow is here. And into the outer bench. Face off in the Islanders end. What a play right there. And Rogers just tipped it wide. And we're not sure whether Billy Smith got a, a save of it or not. McClanahan. Now watch to the left of your screen. There's Rogers just out of the picture right now. He deflects it. And Billy Smith got that right leg out. And watch Beck and Gillies right here. Beck is trying to go off the ice, and there's Clark Gillies. And Beck, they're pushing each other pretty good right there. Face off to the left side of Billy Smith, who has done a superlative job tonight. Rangers are down by a goal with 1.40 to go. Dugay in front, but the Islanders had the puck. Across by Brett Sutter. This is Trottier. Brett Sutter, he's got to have a shot. Nope. Too deep. Dave Maloney. Gillies deep. Brett Sutter. Gillies in front. Free puck. Stop. Still loose. Shot wide. Rebound, Dugay. And hit the Ranger bench. Face off in the Rangers end. 1-10 to go. <laughs> this man right here, Clark Gillies, has come alive in this last five minutes. And I'm, I'm, I am can't believe it. He's been the difference right now outside of Smith, who we talked about. He's hitting everything in sight. He's checking ferociously. He won't let anybody move. But he was out for lunch until now. He was. He was not playing good hockey at all. Steve Weeks in relief of John Davidson, who went out with a pulled hamstring. 1-10 to go. The fans are trying to get the Rangers fired up again. Face off right side of Weeks. Lodgeman sends it deep. 105 to go with you watching Weeks. In front. Miss. Be a shot by Lodgeman here. Off the glass. Into the Islanders end. Weeks comes halfway out. He's going out. Rangers have an extra man. Open net. McEwen plays the board. Center's on the back. 48 seconds. Dugay. Open Ranger net. Extra man on the ice. Don Maloney. Open net. Back to the Rangers end with 39. Here comes Boring. Open net. He'll have it. Goring ices the cake with 35 seconds to go in the game. Goring outraced Teddy Johnstone right there and puts it in the open net. And 
They take something out of the glove of Goring. Nystrom did. I'm just wondering. They're looking for something. Contact. No, probably Bob, Bobby Nystrom's mouthpiece. Anyway, Butch Goring scores, uh, as you said, the icing on the cake right there. So the next game will be Wednesday at the Island with the Rangers really having their backs to the wall. The Island is taking a 3-1 lead in games here, leading the Rangers 5-3 with 35 seconds to go. Boy, they've been a couple of dandy games here at the Garden, though. This has been absolutely super playoff hockey. Face off at the red line. Tomorrow. The Island calls for the Ahead. 24 seconds in the game. Gary Burns coming in on Morrow. Cast stop in time. Referee falls down. Back into the Rangers' end. 10 seconds to go in the game. And in five seconds, the Islanders will go home with a 3 1 advantage in game. So the Rangers fight the good fight, but number 31 there, the man in the white mask and white helmet, is the entire difference in our estimation. Both the Rangers had the best shots, the best in the play, but Billy Smith was the best in the nets, and that's where it counts. That last goal, Gorian unassisted at 19.25, and there's Billy Smith right there. Final score is Islanders 5, Rangers 3. Back in a moment after this message. 